Okay, and this is uh, Saturday before uh, before we head back to school for a work day on Monday. This is after seven days of snow, and I'm going to try to do this to let the kids see it, maybe an introduction to what we're going to try to do in class. This is going to be an activity that all the biology kids are going to be doing to actually build a uh, human. And I've got uh, eight humans, and I'll show you a little bit about each of those. But I'm going to give you an example for number one, so we'll really only have seven examples because we're only going to use two through eight during the class. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to actually use um, a codon chart. And in this case, it's going to be an anti-codon chart. And in RNAs, remember, there are no Ts. So when we start with this RNA, we don't build Ts. But instead of an A, we actually get a U. So what will we do? The DNA gene 1 actually has TAC. What would we get as an example? Well, the T would normally become an A, which we do have. The A would normally become a, U, a T, which we don't have. That's a U, and this is a G, so we get an AUG. A, we would want to put a T, so we get a UAC. And T, A, G, U. And U, G, U, and U, G, A. And then we do the same thing for down here. So we actually do it, and I'll give you a key that basically the A's become T's, and the U's become A's, and the G's become C's. So we end up with that, except we can't use the T, so it's a U. And so we actually have an A, and then a U, and a C. I'm sorry, a G because it's the same thing, I'm just doing that C. In this one we get a, can't do a T, so it's a U, C, A. In this one we can't, uh, it's A, G, A. And this one is A, C, U. And then which one do we actually use to make the amino acid? And that, or which one actually brings the amino acid to the ribosome? Is it the mRNA or is it the tRNA? And the answer is the tRNA. So we're going to use the anticodon chart which I'll show you in a second, and we're going to build the human. So here's the anticodon chart. You'll get a, a little larger version of it. But basically what we want to do is we want to take that UAC and go down to the first base, which is a U, go down to the second base, which is an A, and then go down to this third one, which is a C, and we get UAC, and it's going to be a U, and then AUG, A U G R and then U C A A uh, and then A C A A C A you're a girl and that is a complete statement so then this A C U A C U is going to be a stop so what you do is you go down to your person and you write down it's a girl and then you use the rest of these keys that are given you, the rest of these clues to discover a human's protein phenotype. Phenotype is how it's expressed in the human. So like the gender would be a girl, even though the actual uh, genotype was an ACA. So that's what we're going to be doing is this activity, and that's it. And I appreciate it. Actually, let me show you one more thing. Um, this is the person one which we were going to use, and we're not going to use this one because she's the example. And if I go down to, there's person two, three, four, five, six, seven, and lastly, person eight. And you guys will be getting in groups of two, and I'll be giving you one of those seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight um, as your project. And I hope you guys take a look at this so you have some idea what we're going to be doing in class on Tuesday and Wednesday when we get back after the workday. Thank you.